in Revelation, the last book in the Bible, chapter 1, verse 18, we read, Jesus said, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Thank you very much. The only verse which has any connection with the subject of this evening's discussion was the last verse quoted from the book of Revelation, where Jesus is supposed to be telling to John in a dream, in a vision, that I was dead and now I live forevermore. That's the only place in the whole Bible where Jesus utters such a word. During his post-crucifixion appearances, as recorded in the Gospels, he never used the word that I had died and I have come back from the dead. Never! This is the only place and this is a dream, a vision that John had seen. And in dreams we dream anything. And more especially in the book of Revelation you read about the beast you know, and the beast had eyes. How many eyes had it outside and had eyes inside and eyes outside? It had seven horns. I said, look, this is something, you know, look, it is not historical. It is not factual. Uh, an imagination of man. And we all, it happens to me sometimes when I eat too much. Then you have these dreams, this indigestible thing, too much meat. And you go to sleep and then you dream, you have uh, nightmares. So this is like a man who is dreaming. But... I still claim, make bold to say, that Jesus Christ, while he walked this earth, he never used the word at any time, telling anybody, anywhere, that I was dead, and now I have come back from the dead. He's proving to the contrary, that I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm the same fellow, eating food, have the need of food, and shelter, and hiding from the Jews, afraid of the Jews, simply because he didn't die, and he didn't conquer death. Because if he had died and if he had conquered death, there would have been no need for him to be afraid anymore. Because the resurrected bodies can't die twice. Who says so? The Bible. It says it is ordained unto all men once to die and after that the judgment. But because he didn't die, he had every reason to be afraid and terrified. Every reason for a disguise. That's the only connection that your quotation had with the subject of this evening's talk, madam.